Yeah, I managed to get the um, Arduino hooked up to the uh, Ethernet shield uh, to a, a web server which is controlling a, an LED at the moment, but I plan on using it for um, the DMX and controlling a DMX lamp, so um, <clears throat> I'll just show you guys what I've got. Um, yeah, so here we have the Arduino, which is uh, basically a prototyping uh, platform using a, a microcontroller. Um, yeah, so on top of it there, you, you can see the um, Ethernet shield, which is hooked up to an Ethernet cable. Oh, that one there, that goes into the MacBook, um, which is currently set up to internet sharing. Uh, <clears throat> Here we just have the, the serial um, output, which is currently running, um, if you can see it, debugging code. Um, yeah, not so clear. Uh, there we go. Um, so basically it's just outputting uh, if the LED, which is that light over there, goes on and off. Um, <clears throat> I'm currently running Wireshark at the moment as well. It, um, the Ethernet shield is actually calling the, the web server for uh, on a specific web page to check if there's any um, commands for the light either going on or off. Uh, not very efficient way of doing it, but I, probably a better way would be using the Ethernet shield or the Arduino as a as a web server and having the web server um, curl request the actual Arduino with the command. Um, yeah, so here it is working. Let me click on off, and the lights within four seconds should turn off. Yeah, there we go. So um, yeah, if I click it on. And off. Yeah, so there's a delay of about like um, four seconds due to um, the Arduino constantly uh, calling the web server, and there's a, a MySQL uh, backend just for the the request queue. Um, yeah, so that pretty much took me about a week to try and figure out how to work the um, Ethernet shield. Um, yeah, so I, I plan on hooking it up to the um, DMX lamp, which we have there, which is the, the f free RGB colors on them. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'll keep you guys updated.